A good midday Monday to you. Roger Hill of Weathering Heights. This weather video is driven by 802cars.com. It represents 802 Toyota, Twin City Subaru, 802 Honda, and they're all located off of Exit 7 on Interstate 89. Had a broad southwesterly flow. What else is new? This has uh, been picking up pieces of moisture and working it uh, north and east. There's a little bit of clearing that uh, it's going to try to sort of spearhead into Vermont. You can see some of that here across western Pennsylvania. And uh, we'll see what happens. We might get some intervals of sunshine. There's also a weak disturbance that's working across just to the north of the border here, producing a little bit of snowfall. Let's take a look at the uh, computer models for comparisons. Looking at the European with the uh, left-hand chart here is the most current and recent. And uh, a little bit of flurry action has uh, made it into Vermont. You can see that mainly across northern areas there, depicted by the European model. And uh, once it starts, it doesn't really last very long. It looks like it begins to uh, whittle back and peter out. And high pressure begins to build in. Uh, that's uh, ridging overnight. That'll set us up for a dry day. It looks like the first of uh, three good project weather days. The next two are going to be later in the week after a more significant storm system. But you can see that uh, area of higher pressure to the north across portions of Quebec. And this is going to be main influence up until we get fairly late in the day. And uh, then we're starting to see the next little disturbance work on through. It's going to deliver a little bit of snow. In some areas, there could be a little bit of a mix of rain. Um, last models were kind of showing that as well. So uh, this is the, 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 the way it shapes up. A little bit of snow that's going to deliver somewhere around a dusting to maybe a couple of inches total that works into Wednesday morning. And it kind of lingers with a few flurries across where? Typical northern areas this time of year. Very typical to see uh, even post-storm uh, a lot of flurry action not really leave the Northeast Kingdom and some of the northern Green Mountains and some of the higher terrain. That's just a staple. So then it does finally move on out as we get into Wednesday. But here comes our next uh, more important storm system. This is the one that's going to deliver what could be a light, maybe even moderate snowfall, 3 to 6, maybe 4 to 8 inches. We'll have to wait and see. It looks like the uh, leading edge of that precipitation makes it in for Wednesday night. And then that continues uh, to cross our region. And leftovers will fall at that point in time. That's the last... Uh, 06Z of the European. We're going to go back to the 0Z and go for the rest of it. So this is valid again late in the day on uh, on Thursday and uh, again the delivery of a uh, light to moderate snowfall potential. A little bit of lingering flurries into Thursday night. Then a big broad area of higher pressure. This is a cold air mass that's going to be funneling in. You might notice also that the pressure gradient is a little tighter here on the back end. So Thursday we also have some uh, potential for some gradient winds, but it uh, diminishes as we get later in the day, uh, excuse me, uh, toward the evening hours. And then uh, that area of higher pressure builds in for what could be two good project weather days. This is uh, Friday and then into Saturday as well. As we get into the uh, day on Saturday, the incoming uh, precipitation for the next storm system, a little bit more well-developed, a little bit more juicy in terms of moisture, is going to push on in. And that uh, is just a little bit beyond the period here. So this is uh, really into Saturday and then Sunday morning, and uh, that looks like a kind of a Miller B kind of setup. And then that moves on out by next Monday with a little leftover flurries. QPF, uh, this is the GFS Ensemble centered on Montpelier, Vermont. This is the three-hour QPF, so you can kind of see where the little flurry action is starting here and each one of these little systems. This is our midweek Thursday system, and this is the system coming in over the weekend. Let's look at the uh, total amount of QPF, or the amount of uh, precipitation melted. It should look like this. And you can see, put it all together, you're getting around uh, 1, 1 1.2 inches of total rainfall. This is the system uh, that's going to develop for basically Wednesday night into Thursday. And then the system that develops uh, on Saturday, not Saturday, but Saturday night into Sunday. And it's a lot more heftier, and agree this is definitely an agreement of the European. 850 hectopascal um, total um, temperatures here below the freezing mark, so this is all going to be snow. It's all going to be all snow. And then here's a look at the uh, two meter temperatures uh, at surface. And again, centered on Montpelier, you can see temperatures do go above the freezing mark just barely. And you saw that big drop in temperature, and this is uh, what we're looking at in terms of wind. Uh, right now, the G the ensemble of the GFS is not indicating anything major. 
Climate reanalyzer looks like this. This is some mighty cold air. I want to call attention to that. Some minus uh, 35, minus 45 uh, degree temperatures here with this uh, significant cold outbreak. Looks like the Arctic is back to uh, warmer than normal again. That is uh, causing weird configurations in the jet stream and the influx of colder air, which will cross Canada and eventually make it in here late in the week and this coming weekend. Weather Prediction Center, 7-day total QPF. You can see the storm track is again through Vermont. Secondary storm track a little further to the south. And then uh, we're starting to see more precipitation make it into the west coast. Switching to temperatures, you can see above normal temperatures almost into Vermont, maybe the southern parts of Vermont, and that is kind of the situation. Neutral temperatures and then colder than normal above us to the north, and then also moving in from the west. What about three days later? This is the way it uh, shapes up. And you can see colder temperatures uh, influx into northern tier regions with uh, remaining relatively warm to the south of us. Okay, that's snow depth on the ground. That's it from here. Roger Hill, Weathering Heights. Thanks for watching.